Hello, I'm Jill Wyoskowski, a librarian at Caroline Kennedy Library. I'm into crafts that repurpose or upcycle items that typically gather in drawers or we drop into our recycling bins. In this episode of Handmade at Home, I'll show you how to repurpose tin cans you have in your recycling bin by turning them into outdoor lanterns for your garden and patio. Let's get started. Step 1. Gather your supplies. For this project, you'll need an empty tin can. Any size works for this project, even a large coffee can. I plan on making a few different size lanterns and have them clustered on my patio table. You'll also need a hammer, sharp nail, maybe a variety of sizes as they punch different size holes. I used a 2-inch roofing nail. A towel. You'll be freezing water in your tin can and will want a towel to not only catch your ice chips but to cradle your project either in your lap or on your table. You'll need a candle. So prior to the COVID-19 pandemic, I planned this craft as an in-library program called Handmade. I purchased Centronella scented candles to illuminate while helping keep the mosquitoes away. Here at home, I had some plain tea lights tucked away in my hallway closet. A tea light or a votive will work just fine. And the last items are completely optional if you wish to add color to your lantern. I'll be using acrylic paint for my project. You may also consider using permanent markers, spray paint, or even acrylic paint with a clear coat of Mod Podge Outdoor. Plain acrylic paint worked just fine for me. And now, on to our next step. Step 2. Clean your tin can, if you haven't done so already. Take time to thoroughly peel off the label and any remaining adhesive. Fill your can with water and let it freeze overnight. Freezing your tin can gives it added stability and prevents your can from bending. My first attempt at this project, I completely skipped this stop. And while I had the same end result, it made the hammering part more challenging. Step three is completely optional. If you want to have a punched out design on your lantern, you can find free printable patterns on Pinterest, or you can skip this step and create a freehand design on the fly. I did. Step four, a nod to the 90s, hammer time. Grab your towel, you'll need it. Place your frozen tin can on the towel. I opted to place the towel and then cradle the can in my lap as I found it easier for me to punch the holes without needing to hold the can. When initially looking into methods for this project, it looked like most of the how-tos found online had the towel and the tin can on the table and working from there. The choice is yours. Cradle the tin can using the towel. Position your nail and gently tap three to four times with the hammer until just the point of the nail has punched through your tin can. Keep in mind, the more taps, the larger the hole. Repeat this process until your pattern is complete. Step five, if you're happy with your design, it's time to melt the ice inside of your tin can. I did this by running warm to hot water on the bottom part of my tin can and then shaking the melting ice into my kitchen sink. Step six is completely optional, adding color. You may wish to paint or color your lantern. Here are some ideas, acrylic paint, spray paint, or permanent markers. Whatever you decide to do, please make sure to allow your can to thoroughly dry. And now the last step, drop in a tea light or votive, light it, and enjoy. In the summer months, you may want to use a citronella scented candle to help repel mosquitoes. Thanks for dropping by and watching this episode of Handmade at Home. We'd love to see pictures of the lanterns you created. Feel free to email us at dhreference at gmail.com or tag your images on social media using hashtag DHCLibraries. I'm Jill Wyoskowski with Caroline Kennedy Library. Stay connected with us at dhcl.mishlibrary.org and on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and now on Pinterest. Thanks for tuning in.